Sup nerds, Wired here, and we are continuing our quest to finish Dragon Age 2 uh, as a warrior. If you have been following this guide up till now, you would know we are coming to the end of Act 2 at this point, and we are playing a sword and shield warrior, uh, as opposed to playing uh, a two-handed warrior like we were at the beginning of the game. So... I'm actually enjoying Two-Handed Warrior a lot. It adds that extra, extra bit of defense that you really do lack as a Two-Handed Warrior. And it has pretty comparable damage per second. Uh, as the Berserker build, not so much as the Burst build. Obviously, you're not going to be able to out the EPS something using so many abilities so fast. But I wish we could do a little bit more because... Uh, well, needless to say, I've been having trouble with YouTube. If you have been reading any of my uh, posts lately, I really can't upload much to YouTube right now for some reason. Uh, I called the ISP, uh, did all that nonsense, then I upgraded my package to something newer, faster, because I figured, oh my god, it might be that. That doesn't help. Uh, so you know what? I was like, what the fuck? So I'm like, you know what? Let's test this upload speed. So I upload to YouTube, I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here, I'm thinking to myself, what is going on? Little do I know, it must be YouTube, because I was uploading to Mediafire, and I was getting optimal upload rates consistently, every time. But as soon as I tried to upload to YouTube, uh, it would crash, or freeze up, or it was really, really slow. And things like that, so I'm trying to upload as much stuff as I can, guys. Uh, the content will be coming slower until either YouTube fixes their problem or some act of God fixes mine. I don't know what end it is, but it works fine on Mediafire. I was getting about 4,000 kbps on Mediafire, and it's not even close to that on YouTube, so I'm not sure if it's the server here. This all started happening yesterday when uh, YouTube did their little thing. Where they, uh, they switched the layout of YouTube and, like, you could switch that little light bulb and make it black and white. I don't know. Ever since that, I've been having problems, so. Hopefully it's something internal. Hopefully it's fixed by tomorrow. Uh, I am going to keep uploading stuff until, <laughs> we'll keep trying. I've had to literally upload the same video about six times. Finally worked. So I'm really, I'm in it to win it. I'm trying to get everything uploaded, man. I'm not skimping on it. Uh, but let's get into the game now, and enough about my problems with fucking YouTube. Uh, first and foremost, we are doing the Fixer quest, which requires us to either kill assassins or hide bodies for them. And we are also doing the uh, Sketch quest, which lets us talk to the mage, who gives us money. Obviously, money is good, so we're gonna do that. Still sitting through millions of load screens to get there, though. Fixer, then. Thank Andraste. Just not with. Yeah, that wasn't much of a fight. <laughs> Sorry, I was having some technical difficulties there for a second. Uh, I am not playing with game sound again tonight, so... I will not be commenting on dialogue or random party dialogue anymore. Uh, I'm just sick of this game. I'm sick of the uh, music in the game right now, so... Taking a bit of a break. A 
a drifter. What makes the gang so angry at night? Someone should do something about them. I know we get attacked by a bunch of drifters. Dwarven drifters. And in Sketchka's quest. Mage. You have a lot of enemies. More than I knew. My reputation precludes me. Take my advice, friend. Stay away from storytellers. Never know what they'll say. Alright, this this quest is bugged. It does stay on your uh, map and also in your your inventory. Not your inventory, your journal. So once you hand it in, it's handed in. It's not gonna go away. So don't worry about it. Uh, it will go away in Act 3, however. But it is already completed. You cannot recollect the uh, money and stuff like that. So, Just a quick run through the disused passage to see if we miss anything. Because we will not be coming back here after this. So of the old god Dumat. Oh yeah. Sort of the old god Dumat. Yeah. That's worth one gold. Uh, let's use this dude's uh, inventory to sell our crap. Another blood magic staff, obviously not very good. What the shit? That has to be a mistake. Those are leather boots with uh, magic requirements. As you can see by the armor alone, it's just under my armor. And I wear plate. And no one's going to tell me cloth armor, 71 armor. I mean, look at this shit. It's got, like, the same armor rating as my, uh, my stuff. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, that's probably a glitch, but I'm not worried about it. It does not affect my class. Alright, Mr. Come. Commoner. Lead the way. Uh huh. Nothing else in this area. Let's check our quest. Heretical items. I think we missed something. We're supposed to have like another like side quest at this point. Could be in a different area, but it's worth checking it out. I know for a fact that it does exist though. It's called Wexler's Cap or something like Waxler's Cap. I'm not sure if it's in this area. It's probably not. It's probably in Dark Town. Or Low Town or something. Okay, let's get out of here. It's not here, so we're gonna go somewhere else. Okay, as usual, you gotta do your, uh...
you're only gonna get disorients if you get the uh, fatiguing fog because disorienting shot hardly ever friggin' works nowadays, especially on the harder difficulties for some reason. So I really don't depend on it so much. Uh, I would probably depend more on fatiguing fog. If you do want a combo uh, with the rogue, rogues have very few options to combo in comparison to other character types. Uh, really, you're only getting disorients for one tree, so. <laughs> It's kind of stupid in my opinion as far as uh, class balance goes is why the rogue doesn't have uh, better crowd control options like that or actually debuff options I should say. Just doing a... Last second run through of this zone. I'd probably put those buffs on way too early. I waste half of them. You don't say a rogue. Come on. Gotta put the beating on him now. Like I said, it's worth it to go around the zones one more time, get a little bit of extra experience, you know, get some more items, get a little bit more money, check for anything you missed. Always go at night, though, because that's when most of the thugs and shit are out, so. Most of these places, like, uh, respawn uh, items and stuff, too. That's all money. Like that's pure money, I mean. That long sword alone is probably going to sell for about 80 silver. I mean, it's worth it. Just to go through one more time. Alright, that's about it we can do here now. For now. Uh, in Act 2. Uh, let's move on to Dark Town now. Like I said, this is not required. You, you can pretty much skip these quests. You won't lose a lot. You'll lose a gold or two. If you don't want to do them, you don't want to do all the running and backtracking and load screening. Plenty of load screening to be done. They need like a mini game that I can play during the load screen. That would be truly awesome. Alright, so we gotta find the last body and the last assassins. Did we already do this one? I think we did. Let me check. Journal. There's one more dead body to dispose of in the Wounded Coast. Okay. Uh, 